just topped up a meeting with our intern, Max. Max is helping so much. He ha did a ton of marketing stuff, like for our blog this week, which was great. Looking up different kind of trends. How do you market blogs? I don't know how to do that. And so that was incredibly helpful. He helped me prepare for a meeting this week with one of his professors, actually, who was a lawyer and who was teaching like a law class about entrepreneurship. Max suggested I reach out to him about LLC stuff, which I am doing. I'm so excited to talk with him more this week. And then Max is gonna be helping us do some research for trying to find seamstresses to then onboard them to our company because we are gonna to need to be hiring more seamstresses. And so I'm so excited to see where that goes. And I'm so thankful to have such an incredible team of interns who are helping us so much and I just can't thank them enough. So yeah. So I haven't really been feeling well today. My stomach doesn't feel well. I feel really, really tired. And so I listened to my body. I had several meetings today. I did all of the meetings, but I basically took the rest of the day and just laid on the couch and felt really nice. I still have a lot I need to do, but I have a lot towards the later half of the week. And so I knew that in order to get through that, what I really needed to do was just rest a lot today. So I'm hoping it's about seven o'clock. I'm hoping I can get some more work done this evening now that I took I think I laid on the couch for like two or three hours. So <laughs> I'm really hoping that that will get me through and then I'll get back to being able to do some work. So I've really, I'm really proud of myself that I was listening to my body today and I feel really good about that. So I'm trying to be more in tune with that and my schedule has loosened up a little bit enough for me to be able to do that, which feels amazing. So I still feel the pressure a little bit of work and stuff that I need to get done, but it's not as heavy and constant, which is really nice. So. Let's see if we can get more work done. All right, so I'm so proud of myself. I have been really keeping up to date on emails and it feels amazing. My inbox is around 144, been hovering around 150 or much more. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm slowly like inching it back and that feels so good. So I've been working on internship descriptions for Upcycle Design. We will be adding some interns hopefully this summer and I'm working with Madison from Horn and Ted from Horn for the signature internship program that Horn offers to the entrepreneurship major and they'll be offering some internship positions with us and I'm so excited. So I'm writing up some descriptions for that. I think we're primarily focused on, we can have like a general intern who just can do general things, but we're also focused on like operations management if someone has a passion for that, supply chain management, financial, someone who's really good with finances, and then also another marketing intern would be great just because there's so much for marketing. And I know Jana is doing so much and I would love to add another person who can help even more with that and who could help do our MailChimp and different stuff like that. So definitely a lot of room for different positions there and I'm so, so excited. So I'll keep you all updated on how that goes. I will be sub submitting my application for TEDx at UD and I really need to finish it because it's due tomorrow. And so, yeah, so I'm gonna be working on that. And then I'm also going to this gap year program for some of the gap year kids. I work with one of them, Olivia. She is our assistant for the OCL mentoring program. And so I know her very well and I'm really excited to go talk with them. As a Siegfried fellow, we are invited to come and kind of share our experience and all of that. So I'm really excited to do that. So let's get started with the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, we've got some wild lighting happening, <laughs> but I did finish recording my TED Talk tonight. You only had to submit a recording that was one to three minutes long of just you speaking, and I don't really have a good recording of just me giving a talk or giving a presentation or something. It has to be unedited, so I can't put any of my YouTube on there. So anyway, I recorded the first like minute and a half, two minutes of my TED Talk, and I'll just submit that. And hopefully they like that. So I took some time to like memorize it because I don't have it memorized yet, it's not done. So I memorized as much as I could and then I videoed that and then I also wrote an outline. It's funny because I didn't have an outline for my TED Talk, I only had the written TED Talk. <laughs> so I had to make an outline for the TED Talk and then I also, you have to submit three, like answers to three questions. Like what is your presentation background? Then what do you hope people will gain from your TED Talk? And what basically, what is your TED Talk about? And so, this has been a dream of mine to be accepted, to give a TED or TEDx talk for a very, very long time. It is on my vision board, it is on my goal board for this year, and so fingers crossed. Aurora! Fingers crossed that something happens this year for that. So I'm really, really excited. So I am 
working on the application. That is as far as I'm gonna get it done tonight and I'm gonna wake up tomorrow fresh and look it over again. Ryan is gonna help me look it over again tomorrow and I will submit it tomorrow night before the deadline and I am so excited. So yeah, that was the big win of today. And I also submitted one second. And I also submitted our job descriptions for the internship. And so I'm so excited. All right, so such a fun call. I just jumped off from talking to Andrea from Big Brothers Big Sisters of Delaware and we were connecting about the level up design that the students created to support Big Brothers Big Sisters of Delaware and it was such a great call. We chatted quickly and she's really looking forward to promoting the design and that the students created. She's just so excited that they chose Big Brothers Big Sisters and she also would really love to partner with us and the warehouse in the future as well for future stuff too. So it was just such a great call. I'm gonna get more information off to her now and yes. Yeah. So I am currently finishing up my submission for my TED talk and I'm really excited. But I did just want to talk about, I'm feeling like really, like not confident today. And I don't really know where that's coming from, but it's not necessarily imposter syndrome, but I just feel not confident in my submission and really nervous to submit it. And I just have this weird feeling of like, it should be better. It could be better. I should have done more. I should have done, and, I, and it's like, I did the best I could on this mission. I don't know what would make it better, but my brain is just going in circles of, this isn't your best work. You're not gonna get it, blah, 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 blah. So I just wanted to share <laughs> that I'm not always super confident in what I'm doing. It might come off that way. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're always doing, so many things and you're always confident about it but no i'm not <laughs> and yeah i'm just really struggling with that today for some reason so there's really nothing i can do about that and so i'm just gonna submit my application i've had several people look it over and i think it's as strong as it possibly can be i'm just gonna get it submitted and move on with my day and try to accept the fact and get that little voice in the back of my head to say no i'm in control of my thoughts and i can think what i want and you're wrong. I have done the best that I can on this application. And that's all I can ask for from myself. So anyway, that's where I'm at today and I'm just really struggling for some reason. I think something else that's also coming up for me is that this talk is very vulnerable. It's sharing my story for the whole world to hear of going through trauma of a health crisis very early in life. And I think that in putting together my application, you kind of are reliving some of that trauma. And as much as I've done the work to feel better, to get through it, to accept where I've been and how far I've come and where I am now, it's still really difficult. <laughs> any trauma, talking about any trauma is difficult no matter how much you talk about it. And so I think that it's just a very vulnerable thing for me to apply with as an application. Usually I'm applying with a company or with an idea or whatever. This is my story. I'm literally applying with my story and it feels like I'm putting myself on a limb that if I'm rejected, it's just very vulnerable. I will apply as many times as I have to until it's the right idea and the right lens of sharing my story because I think that my story is valuable for other people to hear and I think that it is an idea worth spreading. But I am kind of really struggling with that and I'm working on filling out the application now and so I'm excited to just get it submitted. Oh my God, I'm submitting it, let's do this. I'm gonna press the submit button. I'm so nervous. I've officially applied. I'm so happy. I honestly feel so much better having just pressed the submit button. It is now out of my hands and I feel so much better. I was really freaking out there for a while. <sighs> wow, I can't believe. Honestly, it has been my dream to, ever since I contracted Lyme disease, I was like, I want to share what I've learned and the skills and the knowledge that I've learned through that experience. I've had Lyme for almost 10 years now, so it has been quite a long time. Fingers crossed, literally, oh my God, this would be a dream come true. I am just freaking out. 
Okay, I'm gonna go freak out, not on camera for a while. <laughs>